Justice Brett Kavanaugh gets confirmed to the SCOTUS by our beloved GOP Senators Jack Dorsey and his Trojan horses of liberal terrorist fascists want to shadow ban me for a week for two tweets that would otherwise allow any Democrat with a free pass because Democratic voters and here's the kick here's the kick these same Democrats post tweets that are far much worse in comparison to the two tweets that they forced me me to delete what, did they not like the fact that Brett Kavanaugh was given the most unfair treatment process in the history of the Senate? Does this not get their goat enough that a guy like me is able to call them out every single day? By the way, I have like 2,700 tweets. And all of them test the very boundaries an absolute bare maximum of the limits at its core of the absolute bull crap that is democratic privilege. And let me tell you something now. Let me tell you something right now. I just checked this. You see it right here. Found at Skull as a Trek. Because I changed my username for the second time on Twitter after I got this second account. They shadow banned my first one because, like they're attempting to do with this one, they want to silence me. Because for 12 years, people like me have helped Jack Dorsey and his Trojan horses get to where they are. They want to shadow ban me for helping them get to where they are over the last three years. And this, this is even funnier. This is even funnier. Considering these are the same people who promote people who on a daily basis lust and masturbate to the thought of killing every single conservative known to man. Of committing the biggest genocides ever conceivable. But yet their Democratic Party were the same party that almost forced into extinction a Native American Indian indigenous race who lived in this country freely, peacefully, for thousands of years before my ancestors ever came onto the scene. Do you get it now, people? Do you understand? Do you see the shell game for what it is? That's what it is. It's a shell game. It's a rigged, focus shell game. It's an absolute shell game. Oh my god, I, I can't even... <laughs> oh man, 
am I going to like Jack Dorsey's lack of a shadow banning scheme up faster than a freaking LED board going full speed during a performance of Slayer's Raining Blood by Slayer themselves. Could you imagine? Because you... I thought my victory against Jack Dorsey and his Trojan horses was going to be bad enough for them. But they shadow banned me illegally. A violation of the Constitution. A violation of the Bill of Rights. For the second time! The second time! So they want me to stay on Twitter for a week. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That don't work, buddy. No. They're not going to violate my First Amendment rights. Because I'll tell you this. I will tell you this right now. Right now. Jack Dorsey, I know you're looking at this. I know you want to do everything in your power to send your pathetic, retarded Antifa tards over here to threaten my life. But it ain't going to work, buddy. It ain't going to work. It's never worked, as a matter of fact. The only reason why you're in the position that you're in now is because a Saudi Arabian terrorist whose own native Al-Qaeda colluded with George H.W. and George W. and family to organize the theft of over $30 trillion of Pentagon property and that's not including the Twin Towers that they were bombed not 24 hours after. Do you realize how bad you're making this for yourself, buddy? Do you have any idea, Mr. Dorsey? Or should I call you Mr. Horsey? And I know in my heart of hearts that you're a terrorist because you act like one and you live the life of one every day but you can't even shine Osama Bin Laden's shoes. And he doesn't even wear shoes. He wears sandals. So imagine how embarrassing that's got to be for you, huh? Buddy, you call your shadow banning process legitimate? You call it legitimate? How can it be legitimate if you're driving away 68 million people who invested into your site after you sold it to Google. Good luck with that one, buddy. I'll tell you what. The 68 million people that invested into your site, we're tired of you, man. We, including the 62 million 864,828 of real Donald Trump's voters, which, by the way, you're trying to shadow ban, right? Shadow ban? Since when is shadow banning anybody, even those within your own terrorist party, ever got you anywhere? When? When was the last time? I'll tell you. Never. That's when. Not even in any alternate universe of any kind, fictitious or real. Not even in an alternate multiverse would your shadow banning campaign ever turn up anything of any worth or value. Jack Dorsey. Do you realize, you know, I, I could sue you for everything that you have. But I know that you have a lot more than what I'm going to sue you for. So at the very least, be lucky. Be grateful that I'm not suing you for the entire net worth that is in your bankroll. 
on second thought, don't be lucky, because I'm going to sue you for everything that you've got. You want to take away my First Amendment privileges? You want to take away my constitutional God-given privileges as a human being? You want to take away my humanity? No. Not a chance, buddy. Because I'll tell you this much. I'll tell you this much. By the way, not one curse word have I used. Not one. E except the R word. I guess, I guess that doesn't count in your mind because you side with a bunch of terrorists in the deep state who called me retarded for voting Trump. And somehow, you're even dumber than I am. And I'm legitimately retarded, according to you. What does that make you then? A chicken? In a coop? Eating mud? And your own fecal matter off of the ground? Oh, Jack. Oh, Jack. Buddy. You know what? You know what, man? I certainly hope to God. I'm, I'm going to look your name up right now. I am going to look your name up right now. See, you're not going to tell me how much you're worth, buddy. You're not going to tell me how much you're worth. But I know how much you're worth. It says it right here on your Wikipedia. $6.8 billion. And that is precisely how much I'm going to sue you for. $6.8 billion. And, and Jack, listen to me, buddy. You don't have a case. You don't. You never had one to start with. No, one case. Did you ever dream of having against me until, of course, I voted for Donald John Trump in 2016? Election Tuesday in November of 2016. And guess what, Mr. Dorsey? That $6.8 billion in your bank account or your hundreds and hundreds of bank accounts? Guess what? That is all going to be reduced to absolutely nothing. But I'm not going to take it from you. No. You're going to take it from your hundreds of bank accounts that you have here and overseas. And you're going to give it to me. And all of the 62,848,000, or should I say 62,864,828 loyal Twitter users who have been calling you out on your crap since your boy an illegal immigrant from Kenya named Barry Sotoro, pseudonym Barack Hussein Obama II. That $8.7 billion in your bank? Buddy, you don't have a clue, man. You, you don't even know how bad you just sunk your ship. You don't even know how bad you've sunk Twitter. But good old Daddy Rothschild and the Dynasty, they're going to bail you out. And by the time you're done giving all of your bankroll to me and the rest of the 62,864,828 of Trump's supporters and voters and constitutionalist conservative retards that you're so desperately trying to shadow ban because you're on the wrong side of history because you're a leftist, liberal wingnut? Buddy, you're going to be bankrupt by the time this is over. But good old Rothschild 
with 500 trillion in their bank account, they're going to stock you back up with about 100 times more than what your bank account is worth right now. And we're going to sue you again. And the process will repeat itself. You lose to the constitutionalist conservative retard. You give your money to me, they bail you out. You lose to the constitutional Republican retard. You give your money and bankroll to me, they bail you out. You will lose to the constitutionalist, God-fearing, conservative, constitutionalist Baptist Christian with autism on the lower end of the Asperger spectrum, attention deficit hyperactivity, and oppositional defiance disorder, your account will be bankrupt because you'll have to give all of your undeserved assets to me and all of Trump's voters and they will bail you out again. It is that simple. The process is going to keep repeating itself until they have no more money to get. And then they're going to hunt you down. And it's not going to look good for you, is it? You know how the story ends. The good guy gets absolutely tortured beyond all possible compare for his entire life only for the good guy to suddenly gain a second wind from the divine spirit of intervention above God Almighty himself. The bad guy who by all accounts would have otherwise won had the good guy given up even a second before the inevitable will lose everything yeah that's right buddy you know I don't know man I mean was that 6.8 billion dollars worth selling your soul to the devil for? Maybe for you. But then you're going to go down there to Dante's Inferno in the Ninth Circle, and you're going to burn for all time. You know, Wikipedia says that you were born on November the 19th, 1976. The month of an election year, no less. And I believe, if I recall correctly, Gerald Ford was president at the time, right? Gerald Ford. I guess, I guess your Nick, you know your name, Jack Patrick Dorsey, right? Well, I could sum it up for you in ways that that you you wouldn't even imagine, you know? Because you know, you know, Jack Patrick Dorsey. Age 41 years and a little bit short of 11 months. I don't know where you get off thinking, because you know you were you were born in Missouri, like another person that I knew in this life, and still know in Missouri, and then he moved to San Francisco in a state that's the capital of all crime on earth. Aside from Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the United Nations. Buddy, you lost as soon as you went to San Francisco and lived there permanently. You should have never, ever left your state of Missouri, much less your city of St. Louis. You should have never left St. Louis, buddy. The day you left St. Louis was the day every bit of credibility that you once had came crashing down like the houses of cards that they were, of which there are 6.8 billion. 
Look at yourself out of this one, Jack. Patrick Dorsey. Or should I say, Patrick Starr. SpongeBob reference for the win. Okay, okay, this is... Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Okay, Jack, Jack. I don't think you've watched SpongeBob before, so I'm going to give you an insight on what your entire career as a so-called media entrepreneur has been like. I'm going to tell you right now. And and I'm just I'm just Quick going reminder, to this episode if you don't of mind, Savage Jack, Global Megan O I would like to buy Michael Moat of, of and George Thomas to you for a second. In the style also known of as Spongebob at Freedom okay. Moat and at Real Beachy Keen, respectively, who remind you every day me, that I Peter Strzok is no bullshit. talent. It's also and been brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and they all which shout is paid for by suckers like I have no talent. You don't like what you see. Turn the freaking oh. chance. Oh my god, Jack Dorsey, you are screwed six ways to Sunday. I wish I wish I could have warned you sooner. No wait, I did warn you sooner, but you didn't listen! <laughs> like Chris Columbus. Oh my god, man. You're gonna go from riches to rags so quickly you won't even know where all the time lives. Oh my god. And yes, I mean that metaphorically. Not literally, because of course that would be illegal. Illegal? According to your democracy. Because this was never our democracy! No, this is your democracy. Your democracy, and George Soros' democracy, and Hitler's democracy, and Barack Obama's democracy, and the democracy of every single illegal immigrant in this country, which, if I'm not mistaken, is a little over 26 million people, and a population of over 325 million. And that number, is slowly but surely going to spike. It's going to exponentially increase. It's going up. It's going up like a rocket ship. Going to the moon. All because you associate yourself with people, mainly Democrats, some Republican, i.e. Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, Jeff Flake, Lisa Murkowski, John McCain, George H.W. Bush, his son, the rest of his family, who put politics over everything else. You, sir, have officially lost. You lose. Game over. I win. <laughs> guys can figure out this one, I will die. Yeah. Ah, that's what we're talking about. Yes. 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 And Dorsey, you lose. You lose! Game over! It's done, man. It's done. It is done! <laughs> Mr. Professor Dr. Admiral Captain Jack Patrick Dorsey, 
MD, PhD, CSA, I'm going to sue you, Jack Patrick Dorsey, for seven point eight billion dollars, which is exactly the amount of money. Do you know what money is, Jack? You know what money is. You spent 12 years insulting every conservative Christian's intelligence. Now I'm going to insult yours. Jack Patrick Dorsey. Born in November of 1976. Age 41 years. And about 11 months, Jack Patrick Dorsey. I warned you about what was going to happen! 62,864,828 people, regardless of political affiliation, have the common decency and knowledge and basic second nature to vote the greatest president to ever live Donald John Trump Sr. into the presidency of the United States and he has done better in the first 20 months of his presidency than any Democrat has ever done in their entire respective presidencies over the last 228 years. This is the second time I have checked to see if I'm shadow banned. On Twitter, found at skull underscore is underscore a underscore dre. No search fan? Check. No Fredbear? Check. No QFD fan? Check. That's going to be the greatest one-sided victory in the history of lawsuits. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. You know, you know, you don't really know, you know what you just got yourself into. I'll take a thought. You do know what you got yourself into. You're doing everything you can possibly do under the sun to avoid buddy. What is wrong with you? What ails you, boy? What ails you? You should have never left St. Louis, buddy. I left my heart in my St. Louis. And guess what happened? It was the worst decision that you have ever made in your entire 42 years soon to be existence. Or should I say non-existence? Because you, Jack Patrick Star Dorsey, do you mind if I compare you to a character on SpongeBob? There's also a starfish who has sudden bursts of intelligence despite being extremely, unfathomably stupid? Is that alright if I do that? Or does your Rothschild constitution prohibit you from allowing me to do such a thing and allow you to 
even attempt to accept constructive criticism of any kind. Were you ever taught any tough love growing up? Of course you were. But you threw that right out of the window when you left your home of St. Louis. And you shoved it in your family's faces. You know, you know, freedom of speech, right? Freedom of speech. Okay, here, watch this. Watch this. Freedom of speech. Your parents should have never given birth to you, Mr. Dorsey. They should have used the condom while they had the chance. Okay, okay, okay. I got another one. Freedom of speech. I've got another one. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, Jack. I've got another one. Has your family disowned you yet? Because if they haven't, they need to as soon as they can. Because they won't be able to moving forward. Okay, okay, I, I've got another one. Freedom of speech. I'm protected by the First Amendment when I say this. Is it just me, or does everything come out of your horse's bunghole reek of absolute diarrhea-fueled fecal matter? Because the last time I checked, it does and has been for the last... Twelve years. See you in court, Jack. Good luck trying to explain to your daddy lifestyle how you got in this position in the first place. You jack wagon. Stop the hammer.